Hello guys, welcome back. Containerization has taken the market over virtualization. Every companies are now containerizing their applications. So in this video, we'll see how we can run our Jenkins server inside a container using Docker. So let's start. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. To do this, you must be familiar with the Docker commands and the Docker engines must have been installed in your machine. So I have connected to my Docker server. So if I execute the Docker command called Docker image and ls, it should display me the images available in my Docker server. So in this local machine, I don't have any image available. So how will get the image? Because we need the Jenkins image to create container. So you either can build your own Jenkins image or you can go to the registry, Docker Hub registry and get the Jenkins image from there and create the container. So how will get the Jenkins image? If you go and just type hub.docker.com, okay, you will see the Docker registry. So this is Docker Hub or hub.docker.com. It's a web website or web applications where they uh, give you the registry where you can store your all Docker images, the binary files. Okay. So if I just search for Jenkins here, so you can see here, this is the official image of Docker Jenkins. Okay. So this is Jenkins image, which is the Docker official image. And obviously, so whenever you are using any inbuilt images from the Docker registry, you must use the official image of that particular application, right? Suppose here, I need the Jenkins image to create a container and use the Jenkins server. So what I have to use, I have to use this Docker image and you can see here, this particular image is deprecated and they are instructing and giving instructions to use this Jenkins slash Jenkins colon LTS instead. So what we can do, we can just go ahead and execute the command like see first we need to pull out the image to our docker server and then we can create the container or else you can directly use docker run command to create a container out of that what it will do it will pull the image first and then run the container so here i'll show you first pull the image to the local machine or to the local uh, to the docker server and then create container out of it. So I can use docker pool, okay? And just give the image name like Jenkins slash Jenkins colon LTS, okay? Hit enter. So what it will do, it will pull the Jenkins image. This is the latest image of Jenkins from the Docker registry, okay? And this is the from the Docker Hub. Just wait for a few seconds. Let it completely pull down. Yeah, we can see here it has now downloaded the newer image that is Jenkins slash Jenkins colon LTS. So if I just execute the command Docker image and ls, you can see here our Jenkins image has now been downloaded to our Docker server or to the machine. So what we can do now, we can create a container out of this image. So how we'll do that? We can use Docker container command, and then have to use the command called run, okay? And what you have to do, you have to provide the name of the container. First, what you have to do, suppose I have to provide the name of the container as name as uh, Jenkins server, something like this. And, um, and you have to publish the port to the host port so that we can able to access the server or applications running inside the container. So to do that, we have to use hyphen P and then you have to provide the port number. Suppose 
the host port number suppose i have to give 8080 colon 8080 suppose i give so what is this 8080 8080 is the default port of container default port of container okay so this one is will be our host port and this one will be our container port okay now what we can do using the ip address and this container port i can access the application or access the jenkins server running inside the container okay now what we have to do we have to just provide the image name so what is the image name the image is jenkins slash jenkins colon latest lts okay now suppose i want this particular to run on the back end in the detached mode so what i can do i can just simply provide hyphen d i want this command to run on the detached mode or in the back end so what it will do hit enter so you can see here it has given a very long has id which is nothing but our container id so if we can just do docker container ls what it will do it will give us the container details here now this jenkins server the container is you can see here of 14 seconds ago like the status is up and here is the image which is being used to create the container and this is the container id and the port is forwarded 8080 to 8080 now how will access this jenkins server which is running inside a container so what we can do we need the ip address or domain name of the server and then you have to provide 8080 so if i go to my docker server here and uh, let's get the ip address put the ip address here and provide 8080 hit enter so here we can see our Jenkins server is up and running. So first, it will ask us to unlock the Jenkins by getting the password. So how we get this initial admin password in case of container? So if you execute docker logs hyphen f under container name Jenkins server, you can provide the container ID here also. Okay, so you can see it gives us the admin password so we need this admin key in order to unlock the jenkins server okay just copy this one go here and paste it here admin password now continue and you can see here it's just asking us to customize the jenkins so let me install the suggested plugins so it will take some time to install all the plugins i'm just pausing the video and we'll come back once the required plugins have been installed okay so you can see here all our, all the plugins have been installed successfully now it is asking us to create first admin user suppose i'll create like Ranjit Kumar. Okay, give a password. Just give a full name here. Suppose I'll give my name here and give any email ID. Suppose I'll give this one. Save and continue. So, this is the IP address which we already have given and it gives us to use this as Jenkins URL. So, we can use this URL to connect to our Jenkins server right so now what do we do save and finish now what does it say the jenkins is ready we can use start using our jenkins now so if i click it here you can see here our complete jenkins server is now ready to use so you can simply go ahead and create a job suppose i'll create new item and suppose a test job here freestyle okay and what you can do here so once the job is created, suppose I'll just give everything as it is and just give a build step as execute self and just put something like echo, um, hello, 
charcoal, something like this. And I'll just put a code or I'll just put a date command here, date. Or you can just give us a code, two days, two days. So this date is something I'll give the date command here, date. Okay, now save this one. And let's go ahead and build the job. So this Jenkins is now in running in a container. Okay. So I just build a job. And if I just go ahead and check, see, this says hello Docker and date. Today's date is Friday, December 23. So you can see here how we can use the Jenkins image to create a container using Docker. Now you can see here we have one Jenkins server or one Jenkins container is running. So if you want to create another Jenkins server, you can simply go ahead and instead, let me come out from here. What you have used here, we have just used Docker container, IPNT, and Jenkins server. And we have used one port 8080. Suppose if you want to create another Jenkins server for your another environment, Suppose for, te for testing environment or for QA environment, right? So what I can do here, provide 8181, okay? Hit enter. Okay, so what it says, it says similar Jenkins server name, the Jenkins is already in use. That means the previous name, whatever we had given for the container, it's still in use, right? So what we can do, we can just rename it to a different, suppose I'll give it as a Dev Jenkins server. Okay, hit enter. So you can see here another container created. So if I just clear out on just use Docker container ls. So we can see here, we have now two containers running, one, two, and here Dev Jenkins server, and this is Jenkins server. And here, the first one is pointing to the host port 8080, and the second one is pointing to 8181. So what we can do, we make sure that the port number 8181 is firewalled, right? So let me make this 8181 whitelisted in my Docker server, right? So if I go to my Docker server here, so security group, so in this security group, make sure the port 8181 is whitelisted. So I can see here the port 8181 is not available. Let me change the inbound rule here first, okay? Before creating the container, you must ensure that 8181 port or whatever port you're providing is whitelisted. Otherwise it will not work, okay? Make it public. Save. Okay, this is done. Now, what I can do, let's get the IP address here. Let's get the IP address of the Docker server. And if I just go ahead, this is the server is running already, right? Jenkins server on this port 8080. So if I use the same IP address with port number 8181. So what will happen? It will give us another Jenkins server. It will give us another Jenkins server. That means we have two containers, which is, which is having two different Jenkins, same Jenkins server running for two different purposes. We can use one server for a different server, for different uh, uh, testing purposes and for development server, any number of, any number of containers, Jenkins containers, you can create based on your resource availability. Hope you understood clearly how we can use Jenkins image to create Jenkins container using the Docker. If you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your queries. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my channel. Thank you.